from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, November the 4th, 2021. The U.S. Senate has confirmed Thomas Nides to be the next U.S. ambassador to Israel. Nides, who is Jewish and previously served as Deputy Assistant Secretary of State, was confirmed in a voice vote last night. Israel's ambassador to the U.S., Gilad Erdan, congratulated his new counterpart, tweeting, I wish you much success in your role and a fruitful tenure at the U.S. Embassy in Israel's eternal capital, Jerusalem. I'm sure that you will further strengthen the special bond between Israel and the U.S. And the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem tweeted that they eagerly await Nide's arrival. The Dubai-based Emirates Airlines announced today that from December the 6th, they will commence daily flights between Dubai International Airport and Tel Aviv. The move, the airlines wrote, comes as the United Arab Emirates and Israel continue to develop greater economic cooperation to drive growth across a range of sectors, in addition to boosting trade flows between both nations. The airline's chief commercial officer, Adnan Kazim, said, We would like to thank the UAE and Israeli authorities for their support, and we await the opportunity to serve Israel and open up more prospects for both countries to continue to build a strong relationship while growing business and expanding tourism in the near future. Israeli scientists have identified the proteins in the coronavirus that cause heart attacks and strokes in some patients. Dr. Ben Maoz of Tel Aviv University, whose team conducted the study published last week in the peer-reviewed journal eLife, told the Times of Israel, we have identified the proteins that put patients at increased risk of stroke, heart attack, and other problems associated with the vascular system. Maoz said this work could well help scientists to develop drugs to counter the effect of the coronavirus on the vascular system by providing an understanding of exactly which proteins or pieces of the virus are causing problems. The Ethiopian Jewish Festival of Sigd was marked today. Israel's President Isaac Herzog shared his best wishes to the community. On, he tweeted a national holiday that renews the covenant of the return to Zion and largely expresses the fulfillment of the dream of Aliyah, or immigration to Israel, of the Ethiopian community to Israel. And at a ceremony for the holiday yesterday, Herzog called for Israel to bring the remaining Ethiopian Jews to the country, many of whom have been waiting for years to do so, especially now, he said, as Ethiopia is in the throes of civil war. Herzog said, thousands are still waiting to make Aliyah to Israel, and some of them are threatened and in a worrying situation. We must continue, he said, to act to bring them over to Israel quickly. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, November the 4th at 7 o'clock, it's Talmud Study. At 7.30, Eli Kohanim speaks with journalist, author Eric Stackelbeck on why evangelical Christians support Israel, what the mainstream media gets wrong about the Middle East, and the future of Christian-Jewish relations. Then at 8 o'clock, Jonathan Tobin speaks to former White House spokesperson Ari Fleischer to discuss the politics of support for Israel, and what's behind a surge in anti-Semitism, among other issues. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with journalist and author Tuvia Tenenbaum on L'Chaim. At 10, it's the JBS original series from date to mate. And coming up next, it's Good Week Israel. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, November the 4th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.